So now that we've created our content models, we are ready to start adding fields to add content into those fields. So let's take a look at our Acme blog that we were working with earlier. We have a multi-page model of articles. So when I click into one of these articles we're looping through, I can see that my article content consists of a title, a subtitle, an image, and some content, tags, and right up here, an author and a date. Now all of that was built by adding those custom fields into Zesty into my article content model. So let's take a look at that in the manager. Clicking into articles and I click into one of those articles, I can see all of those fields, title, subtitle, image, content, WYSIWYG, some more WYSIWYGs. There's that date picker, the author relational where I can pick one author to relate to this article. Our tags, which I can click many tags, so it's a many to one relational, um, and some extra fields down here that we were testing. All of this was built in the schema section. So once again, clicking into articles, here are all those fields that were added. And these can be sorted however we'd like if you want the image maybe to be the first thing that we select. I've got to drag it to the top. And let's bring subtitle down here. Maybe the date I want to bump it up. And this is really all just front end views. So it won't affect how your content is displayed. All of that is done by templating in the code section. So let's go through and create a content model. I'll create a single page model, name it sample page, create that. And now we can start adding the fields. So I'll add a text field for the title and you can see the parsley reference auto populates. And then for the tooltip, I'll just add some hints as well as for the description for my users. And then my next field will be for a hero image. So my media picker and then same for the tooltip and the description. Then we'll choose a date picker and I'll just call this date created and I don't need to add any tooltip or description. So we'll just create that. And now we have built out the three fields for sample page. Now back in the content section, let's go to our sample page date created title and here our image content is empty we can see the tooltips uh, are right here where we added some of that content and those descriptions right here like make it catchy and make sure it's optimized so now i'll go ahead and fill out some content pick a date this is my new title and a hero image let's pick something from here, maybe a couch. Oh. I'll save that and let's preview what that looks like. So here's my URL sample page. And of course, I can't see the title, the image, and the date that we just selected or that we added content to. And that is because the content has not been templated in to our view in the code section. And that's very important to understand that just because you're adding fields and adding content, it has not been templated into your view. And we give you that option to be able to display your content however you'd like. And we can do that by going into the code and taking a look at the new view that was created, in this case, sample page, we can see that it is completely empty. So if we add in some content here, for example, some HTML and some parsley to display our title, let's save that and see what that will look like in our view. There it is, the title for our view. Of course, there's, this isn't very good formatting, but just to quickly go through how to template the rest of that content. Go ahead and save. Now let's refresh what that view will look like. Here's that title, the image, and then the date. I formatted the date to only display the year, 
but that can be formatted to display however you'd like. And that is a quick overview on how to add fields in Zesty. I highly suggest that you play around in an instance, add some fields, add some content, and template that in to see really the power of the functions of some of these fields to create dynamic content. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to email us at support at zesty.io. Thanks.